Um, man, it has been it has been a few weeks since we have played T and D. Um, Vicky, do you remember so actually, what happened I wasn't last here time? for the last session? Uh uh. Because I was here? sick. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. So I have no idea what happened in the last session. And my oh, memory is falling off. Now. So, if oh, anybody else wants friend. to recap. I guess I'll try to remember. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, last time on D&D with KK server. Max edition. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So Gabby managed. Uh, Gabby tried her best to be uh, mean to the Yuanti. Um, I like the wording of that. <laughs> she tried to be mean. <laughs> she did. She gave her best effort. She she gave her best shot. The Yuanti was definitely scared, but he didn't know anything that Gabby was trying to ask. Oh. But, but then Gabby saw a little of herself inside the Yuanti, so she tried to save the Yuanti. So she told everyone what? that the Yuanti was uh, really scared of b being in a crowd and public speaking. So she told everyone to leave them alone. And me and Valor stayed behind because she needed emotional support. Uh, we talked to the Yuanti and then figured out that this guy was just uh, misunderstood and now he's part of our group. What? <laughs> There, I feel so, like there must be stuff in there that I'm not, I'm not missing. <laughs> so, um, we asked the Yuanti other information, like, does he remember the layout of the place? And apparently, he does know the layout, so maybe we can give this to the, um, frog, the Gripply, instead of whatever the heck he, they need it first. And then, um, to pretend that he was actually, uh, really in pain while we were torturing him alone we tried to make him uh yell out in pain it didn't really work it's actually really shit of acting and then gabby <laughs> gave it a try but then it just sounded like gabby was in pain academy oh, award-winning performance you live yeah. literally in that one yeah so okay oh okay so i got valor to punch him and now he's knocked out on the floor the Gripply came in. Um, that's that's where we saw that. Wait, so so <laughs> <laughs> the you so the Yuanti was just misunderstood, and so he's part of our you know team now. But you just wanted to make it seem like you know we were really got him good, so that the Gripply would be like, ah, cool, we really got him good. <laughs> so you faked it. Yes. Okay. A long time oh, you actually did Yuan knock him out, though. They, they yeah, actually we, did, we did knock him out. <laughs> Valor did a really good nat, tw like nineteen, I think. Nice. And she How knocked was he him out. I misunderstood though, because from my understanding, like there was a nice group of Yuanti who met the Gripley first, and then for some reason, after they left, then more Yuanti came, and they were like really mean and kicked them out. Yeah, he he said he didn't really have a choice that oh. he was patrolling. He's like the he's like uh the lowest he, pure blood was it, Chrissy? So there they learned last time that there are um oh cast there's a caste system to the Yuantis. Oh. Um, and the Yuanti that was captured is on the lowest. Uh, right, like racism uh, in the Yuanti society. Damn the the society. <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> we live in a society. Interesting. Okay, I think I understand what is going on now. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so while Cho is on call. Oh, okay, Cho's oh, back. back. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Does it have to work okay, today? Cho? You what? Does it have to work today? You have to work today? Don't have to work today. Oh, nice. oh yeah, yeah, you can make it the Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. It's yes. weird. I'm like, oh, you don't have to work today. Like, okay. 
At least you don't get to see the creepy guy. Oh yeah. True. Yeah. It comes that's in nice. like every day. I'm like, what? Man. Oh, um, that that's a red flag. That's totally. a very very. I mean, very he's red a regular, reg uh, really regular. So. So he came every day even before you were there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he's a regular, a regular. That that that's why I'm like. Oh boy, I don't know how to speak with my manager about this. <laughs> Anyways! <laughs> you are all good. Sorry, I'm also like doing my nails as we are doing dandy. <laughs> what color are you doing your nails? Uh, I'm going to be doing them with a... Uh, it's like this... Blue-gray? It's very cute. Ooh. It's a blue-grayish color. Ooh. Cute, like the yes. sea, okay. the stormy. So, oh, oh, what? <laughs> Dramatic as fuck. Isn't, <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, uh, do you want to know the name of it? It's well, they okay. Look it up. Nail, nail polish is never given the like the the name of this color does not help you at all to know what kind of color it is. The name of this color is Giving Altitude. And I, uh, that what, What's tells the brand? Uh, Sally Hansen. Uh, it's the I, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. I, I can definitely Google it and it'll come up. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, um, giving attitude. So, uh, giving altitude. Altitude. Yeah. Altitude. altitude. The first I heard giving, like, giving attitude. I'm like, whoa, sassy. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's a, it's supposed to be a play, I think, on giving attitude because it's giving altitude instead. But yeah. But if you tell me like, right. oh, like I pick a color for you, it's giving altitude. I'm like, is it? Is okay. it this one? Yes, it's that one. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty color. It's a nice color. Isn't I like it? it? I like it. It's very so, cute. That will be on my nails here in a little bit as soon as I'm done with my cuticles. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so uh, where we stopped last time was with Maxie and Gabby. Um, uh, in the meanwhile, Cho and Vicky. You guys, the last time that we uh, we played with you, you guys, we just like, ah, whatever, Max, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> you finally set off from um from Candlekeep to join um Maxi or to find find Boshi, who you've been separated from for like a few days by this point, um. But now you know where you know, you know where she is. Now you know how to find her. Um, so you're on your way. Um, as you are traveling, um, go ahead and make a just a. Actually, I'm gonna have you both do this. Uh -oh. A flat d20 roll just for a lot. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no no that that that's not the roll. Type wrong. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm not good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Whoa, the difference oh, wow. here. I'm 18 and 13. Made it, right? <laughs> okay. Um, Cho. I'm gonna have you do a nature check for me because you uh, got a three there. Nature? Am I going to be too, Chrissy? <laughs> mm. You're on the Oregon Trail. Sorry, did I mention that? <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Nature is in nature. Is in Terry. Is in Terry. Nature, yes. Nature. Yeah, nature. Nature. Oh, I'm good. Oh. Good oh. nature. Yeah. Good. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay. So you guys, you know, are, you managed to follow this this map pretty well. Um, you uh, follow this map right up until you get to where you know the um, 
where you know you've known this this Gripply village is supposed to be. Um, it leads you to the Cloakwood Forest. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as you guys are there, you guys approach the woods. Um, and you thankfully, like, you haven't, um, you've had like a pretty easy journey so far as you're getting here. Um, and as you approach the forest, this is not the first time that you've seen the forest or been in the forest because you guys have fought spiders in this forest. Yeah, giant before. spiders. Oh, we tried to burn the forest. And you tried to burn the forest, <laughs> oh, and you found God. all sorts of things in this forest. Um, this is the second time that you are entering this forest. Um, as you like, I, I guess it's up to you guys. How exactly do you want to approach? the woods as you get there. Start the fire. Oh my god. So, okay, so. <laughs> Are you starting a fire? Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> People live in here, Cho. I like how you had to ask if she <laughs> I, I mean, you know, Cho has started lots of fires in and her time. for doing I like just this. have to double check if this is another one or not. <laughs> you know? Very true. Just, I guess we're just nothing. like... I remember last time when we went there like at night and it was like um, hard to see, but I don't know what time of day it is now. Is it the morning? Thanks to Cho's nature check save, it is the afternoon for mm. you guys. Good. So you know that the sun will be setting soon. You guys have been on the road oh. for a day or two as you get here. Um, you can feel the sun, like, hot behind you, descending, you know, the, through the sky, on its way to evening time. Ah, TikTok, motherfucker, we need to find the village soon! <laughs> oh my god. We have no idea where the village is. <laughs> uh, can we scream? <laughs> Shit. Oh, she! <laughs> where are you? Are you in there? Oh, Isn't the first rule of being in the forest not to yell someone's name? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, so are you guys just yelling into the woods? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, we're joking. Um, okay, maybe, are there any mice around? Can I ask the mice if they know? Um, roll an animal handling check. Oh my uh, god. Can I roll too? See if you're lucky and have some mice nearby. Please. My my mice, I, my mice army, please. <laughs> Answer to my call. <laughs> I need to pull up my character sheet that I totally forgot. I got to a seventeen. Yeah, get a mouse. Oh hey, oh, music makes me yeah, emo. So true. Hey. Oh. Whoa, nice. Yeah, you find a whole bunch of little mice skidding around here in the forest. Cool, then I'll have to cast the animals spell, which honestly has proven to be a very useful spell for us. <laughs> <laughs> and we ask the mice, do you guys know where the Gripply village is? Um, the mice, uh, you know, turn around, uh, they, they talk to each other, they look at you, um, and the mice squeak back at you um perhaps we do if you give us a snack of course did you snack why you would you want? ever think otherwise <laughs> <laughs> i would never leave you guys uncompensated <laughs> <laughs> excellent okay so do you give them a ration yes awesome so the mice t eagerly take your ration um, and then go, follow me! And they lead you into the forest. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, like now, as dream. you go, as you go, um, I don't think what role I want you to make for this. <laughs> Chrissy's like, how can I torture them? <laughs> <laughs> Roll perception. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. 
Money, money, home. Nice. Oh. nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so as you go, you know, the, the like you were here last time, the thickness of this woods is very is very deep, is very Tank. heavy. Um it is hard to see. Like like you were when you were outside the forest, it was like after due time, on its way to evening time. You step into the forest and it's like the forest likes to choke out the sunlight, right? Um, like you can kind of still feel it's probably still a thick forest with double C's. You can kind of feel like it's, it's probably still daytime because you feel the heat of daytime, but it is hard to, you, not all the sunlight is able to reach the inside of this forest. Mm -hmm. Um, so that makes it a little bit harder to see as you are following these mice through the woods. You're slightly worried that maybe you might lose sight of them because it's so dark you might, uh, you know, they might scurry on ahead and, you know, forget to not, you know, you're not able to keep up with them because there's underbrush, there's roots in the way, um, all those sorts of things. Um, but you guys, because of your great perception roles, are able to follow them a-okay. To your surprise, the mice lead you to the end of the forest, the edge of the forest, which comes right up along the coastline where there uh, is water. Um, wow. And they point you towards up further up the coast. Um, and then I say, you know, getting there by boat's a little quicker, we've seen. There's a way through the forest, but it, it takes a lot longer. I do remember this. I feel like Gabby also had to take like a boat and stuff. <laughs> boat and stuff. Um, but we, we don't have a boat. <laughs> mm. Huh. Can Sled carry me? Like a... <laughs> <laughs> Can you ride Sled like a... <laughs> like a Pokemon, Pokemon so... Like a Pokemon? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna actually look this up. <laughs> it's, it's like riding a Lapras, like, like dive. <laughs> I mean, he, I think I, let me see if he's big he, enough. He was a tadpole. <laughs> he was. I'm going to see if he's, he's like. I know, he's so he's, fucking He funny. is, he is a size larger. Theoretically, he could carry you. Um, like one at a time? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> this is really funny. The image uh, of this is so funny in my brain. <laughs> The image is hilarious. Cho, if you want to see if Sled is capable of this, roll a strength check for Sled. Not with your stats, but with Sled's stats. Okay. Sled strength gets a check. strength of plus three. A bonus of plus three. That's, that's, that's... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No. Uh, no, Maybe can't. you guys have just been traveling for too long today, and he is just so tired. He doesn't yeah. want to carry you. Aww, that would have been so fucking funny. funny. <laughs> uh, let me we could find an like, Easter like a boat anywhere on here. Is there a boat? Roll. We... Let's do. Let's just do a luck check for that. I don't oh. think there's like. That's just pure luck if you're gonna see a boat uh -oh. on the, on the coastline. <laughs> Technically, so no, like, my character has like a history of woodworking, and I have proficiency in wood carving tools, so I can see if I can make one. I guess. <laughs> True, it might take some time, but you that can. would take some time though. Oh, and is that lucky enough? Notice a notice That's a boat. Pretty lucky. Uh, yeah, we'll say you see a boat hell yeah. Oh, hell uh, abandoned yeah. on the coast if you want to take it. Hell yeah! Uh, for you guys to <laughs> ride. Boat, baby. <laughs> I'm on the boat. I'm on the <laughs> boat. <laughs> so yeah, you guys get on the boat. It's got an oar, uh, and you guys are good to set off. We're set sail. Towards da, 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 da. Ripley Village. Um... 
I will do one more bit with Max with with Cho and Vicky before we jump to Maxi. Um, so as you guys are heading towards Gripley Village, you guys run into the same thing that Gabby and Maxi did um, on their voyage. Well, technically, uh, Gabby did, I think, because um, I think Max and Valor, Boshi and Valor, waited behind while Gabby took the first boat. Um, oh, the crabs? The crabs. You run into this <laughs> maze of crabs that are, you know, um, supposed to be in cages, but these cages are, you know, a little bit holy, a little bit rickety. You're not sure how well these cages will hold these crabs in. Um, and these crabs seem awfully hungry. Uh huh. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> I actually love crab. Crab is one of my yeah. Crab is good. Crab is oh, good. Gosh, yes. It's not like how you, when you like Chris is like hungry. I don't think it's the crab. It's us. <laughs> Can we intimidate them enough to think that we're gonna eat them? <laughs> Can we? Can we? <laughs> how are you gonna intimidate them? What's your plan Julie? to intimidate them? Julie. Yeah, like just Julie? Really? Like, that look on your face when you're like so hungry <laughs> and you're just like so hungry Blush, that you're mad. Bloodshot like eyes. Bloodshot <laughs> eyes are <laughs> with like, like... a little bit fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, this would require a little. This would require <laughs> like these crabs to have some amount, some level of emotional awareness like to identify someone else's expression <laughs> completely <laughs> like humanoid expression and what that means for them okay. um then could it, technically if i casted my pass without trace then would they could it, would it be possible they might not notice us if we roll high enough on still or is it like since we're on this boat it's kind of like not a possibility um, you could, you you could, yeah. If you want to do pass without trait, there is a possible like there is a DC for stealth. For cool. This. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll give you guidance if okay. you need. Well, pa casting a spell doesn't require any roll. I don't oh, yeah. think, but right, um, everybody. You just needs to roll a stealth check and you get to add plus 10 to the bonus stealth. you already have. <laughs> so as long as you one, don't get one, ah, it should be good. Hopefully. Ah, jinxy jinxy, very jinxy. <laughs> okay, do I not roll now? Yeah. Yeah, roll, make your stealth rolls and you get to add 10 plus no! your modifier. <laughs> Ah, oh, jinxy, jinxy, very jinxy. jinxy. We jinxed it. it. <laughs> no. Cho, you are a, you are you are great as you guys are sailing by. They don't know that you're there. You're being so stealthy, Vicky. Uh, as I you're into the water, oar, <laughs> as you're using your oar to paddle along. Um, you are, because you're probably so hungry and you're looking at these crabs, like they look so delicious. Um, you, your, your oar hits one of these like shallow, um, or like low docks that are like, you know, through, kind of weaving throughout this ma crab maze here. Um, your oar hits the wood of one of these docks because you're not paying attention. Um, and that sound draws the attention of these crabs immediately to you um let me make a quick roll i'm gonna fight i'm gonna fight am i gonna fight some crabs right now oh wait i didn't hit roll <laughs> do we have electric spell four God, i don't giant crabs wiggle their way out of their cages um, and you can tell they're starting to swim straight towards you, Vicky. Uh, it's guiding ball an electric spell. <laughs> it is a light, I, radiant I, damage. I think it? it's radiant damage. I don't think it's electric. 
And let me Are see why it's like Pokemon tree. right now. Playing Pokemon, like Pokemon in D and D. So, um, do I have to fight them right now? I, like I mean, they're coming towards you. I will give you a chance if you want to do something before initiative cues. If not, we can roll, right, jump right into initiative. Mm -hmm. There are four giant crabs. Four giant crabs. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it possible crab? if I use preacher weapon and make my weapon into a taser and put the taser into the water? <laughs> Oh, I, I do have six dynamite. Can I just throw some dynamite at it? At water? I, that's true. Actually, that's very true. Mm. Uh, is, is my idea possible? <laughs> I, okay, explain it one more time to me. Because tasers... Does taser exist in the d, &D I don't. I don't think tasers exist here. You know, is electric whip... Is this in I don't know that era? Okay, what what spell are you using? A spiritual weapon. Magical weapon. Yeah. I don't think magical weapon. Hang on, let me double check. But I think it the limitations of it. Um. I think the limitations of it are gonna prevent them from being possible. Magical weapon 5e. I hope you can't hear the siren outside my house. <laughs> oh no, I, oh, I, I can't. can't. Is everything okay? Oh, okay. No, I think that some like ambulance is passing by. Oh. Oh. You make a mundane weapon that becomes magical. So it has to be a mundane weapon. What is mundane? Mundane's like a type day. of weapon. So like, um, let me pull out. So like, there are certain types of weapons when you guys are like first creating characters. Okay. Uh, weapons have different like... Uh, descriptions to them. There's like martial, melee, um, you know, ranged, simple, da 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 da. There's a whole bunch of just like key or tag words for weapons to like, you know, kind of classify them in a group. Mm -hmm. um, mundane weapon is more like things like, um, like knives, more like, um, Daggers, uh, hand axe, hammer, those kind of weapons. Ah, boring. Uh, I mean, I, it is mundane. I, I, I have um a scroll of acid splash. Can I pollute the water? Oh my you... god! I don't know oh if that's a good idea. Is that available option? You hurl a bubble of acid. Choose one creature within range. They have to take a dexterity saving throw or take 1d6 acid damage. I don't think it'll affect the entire water. Because but... you're sitting on a pretty big <laughs> body of water. I mean, you can use it for sure and attack the crabs. If you want to, we're going to launch into initiative then. I, I guess there's nothing else to do besides just fight him. Are you using your acid splash, Cho? Yeah, I haven't used this for a while. And it's like water, <laughs> okay. right? You might, More you might, effective. You might as well use it now. Because, you're in, because you you succeeded on your stealth roll, I will let you have your, your kind of like surprise, surprise attack. attack. Yeah, acid. here before, before initiative officially starts. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, acid splash. Okay, um, you hurl a bubble of acid. Choose one creature or choose two creatures that are within five, five feet of each other. Um, I will say two of these crabs are definitely within five feet of each other. All four of them are probably coming pretty close. Um, they are giant crabs. 
Um, so they must succeed my, a dexterity saving throw or take 1d6 acid damage. So let's see if they succeed their dexterity saving throw. These crabs. How big are these crabs? Uh, um, giant crabs are... Let me actually get that for you. A whole bunch of giant creatures. Mm, it doesn't say specifically how big it is. But it does say it's a medium beast. And to put that in perspective the, for the class sizes, <coughs> medium also includes like humanoid creatures. So you guys are also medium size. Oh, so if shit. you guys are in the same uh, class size, height? these crabs are almost Damn. as big as people. Oh my god, juicy! Damn. Yeah, I have to say that must be delicious. <laughs> they, must so much, <laughs> they must have so much meat. <laughs> I like how that's our first thought. I would eat crap. Dirty saving throw. Well, that one failed. Yeah. Damn. Die. The other one succeeded, I bet. Whoa. But the first one failed, and we'll take double the acid damage. Yeah. Die, bitch. Die. Hell yeah. Crack me, baby. One. So roll one d six twice, Cho, to see how much damage you give this crab. 1d6 twice, okay. Because mm -hmm. he got a nat one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> one. At least it's something. Never mind. <laughs> At least it's something. You cast, you have the super cool moment because you have a moment of surprise on these crabs that are charging at you, surging <laughs> through the water. And you take out your scroll and you're like, acid splash. And so the scroll burns up into acid as like acid bursts forth to attack some of these crabs. And you, you look so cool for a moment because these crabs, you caught them unawares. And then it like putters off and like, grazes the top of one of their shells for two damage. Damn it, Juicy! I got this spell from you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, though. It's so funny. Only in D&D. <laughs> Green. Alright, and then in the meantime... Oh, they look cool. Now that the, Stop. Now that... <laughs> I want it to be cool. I do want it to be cool, man. <laughs> Now that the crabs know that you both are here, go ahead and roll initiative. Fuck that, man. It's been a while since we fought. Yeah. It's been a while since we fought. Are any of the grippling going to stop them, Christy? <laughs> what? We have really fought a wide variety of Are any of, of the grippling going to stop them? Um, we'll have to find out, won't we? Yeah. Okay, wait, don't they eat, they eat these crabs? Yeah, these crabs are, these crabs, they farm these crabs. Buddy, right. we are not looking so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is just determining the order that we're going in, so it's fine. <laughs> no, it's, it's not fine. It's fine. It's okay. Fine. Why is that four? Okay. Why is that four? There's four. He's rolling really low today. <laughs> this, is, this is fine. <laughs> Okay, let me write down the order. We have sled with us, don't worry. Why is oh yeah, I have a roll for sled. I have a roll for sled, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, roll for sled for sure. I, I feel like oh, this is in fact in this. <laughs> Before I get too far in the order and then I have to rewrite it. Touch it! Oh, it's lunchtime. Go, sled. Good job, sled. It's lunchtime, sled. <laughs> it's munchy munchy! <laughs> Munchy, munchy. Eat, eat crabs, buddy. The crab is delicious. I might like craving crab now. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, and then we have. Okay. And. God, I almost forgot Clara's name for that. Yeah. Been that it's been long. a hot second. It's been a hot, hot second. Okay, sled gets to go first. Show what would sled do? Uh, sled, huh? Hmm. 
I mean, that, that only got bad attack. <laughs> what is like OP? <laughs> So I'll I'll max that yeah. attack the nearest crab around him. Okay. So so multiple attack, which is like uh, uh how do I roll for stat again? Uh, for so when you do the multi attack, you're just gonna make uh basically he because he gets three attacks, right? He gets one for his mouth and then one for each claw. Yeah. Um, this oh, yeah, is going to be a little uh, bit. This is going to be a little bit tricky because I'm. I'm assuming unless are you. He's probably in the boat with you guys, right? Yeah. This is correct. Yeah. So if he's in the boat and the crabs are in the water, that's going to make the fight a little bit more complicated. Mm. Um, he pro if he's trying to attack from the boat. He probably won't be able to use all three of his multi multi attacks. He'll probably only be able to use his claws. Is he able to jump into water and fight with them? He is yes. If you want him to jump into the water and fight against them, he probably can because we'll count that for movement. He's allowed to move just like you guys. Will he have this advantage in this water? I mean, he's a frog. Fighting, fighting in water has special uh special rules that we haven't ever had to use yet. <laughs> Oh, boy. So so true. We We've only fought water elementals at one time. Right. And so this is gonna be this is gonna be fun to like uh use some of these some of these uh uh rules for fighting in water. Yeah. I'm opening mm -hmm. the uh dungeon master tome now. Oh to the dungeon pull that master out. tome. I know. So I can you know consult the official rules on Fighting in underwater locations. Um, or in water, really, but it's together with the underwater stuff. Nice. Mm. How does the Pokemon battle work? How does the Pokemon battle work? <laughs> I mean, in Pokemon, we just, like, strangely float on the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just, like, weirdly are, like, in Jesus mode. Like, we just, like, stand on it. <laughs> Jesus mode! Yeah, there's... <laughs> When even when you're in even when you're in like Arceus, like like the Legends game, like all of a sudden suddenly you have a platform that your that your Pokemon fight on on the water. <laughs> that was a fun game though. I was addicted to that Arceus Legends game for ages. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I think it was nice to have a different format for after so mm -hmm. long. So. And Scarlet and Absolutely. Violet's gonna be the same thing I heard, so... Oh! I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. It's just that Here Giga Chat we... Professor's throwing me off. For your little... I'll... Smoliv. Smoliv. Smoliv run. Okay. Smoliv. So I will say, okay? So here, well, and this probably won't affect us in combat because combat actually goes super fast, right? Like, like each round of combat is only six seconds, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that being said, this probably won't happen here in this fight, but just something to keep in mind for whatever reason, in case this does go on really long. Um, Some reason. So Sled, of course, <laughs> he's very good at swimming, but he can't swim for very, like, forever, right? Just like a normal right. person can't swim forever. Um, after each hour of swimming, um, he's gonna have to succeed on a constitution saving throw or gain a level of exhaustion, which we haven't also dealt with yet. Um, but, yes, that is something to keep in mind. It probably won't at all go for this, but in case that comes into play... <laughs> Where's the thing? I was looking for specifically fighting underwater, and it gave me something, the, like, encounters. So... We're in the water level of this okay. Zelda game. Uh, water let adventures. me think. Do I need I want to gamble know. my rolls for the constitution? Or do I want to be smart and let's, let's stand by on the <laughs> boat and fight? I do I gamble or know... be smart? It's he's probably not going to run into the issue of the swimming thing because uh, yeah, combat, combat usually goes really bad. fast. Okay. It never really lasts like like an our time. Our time, yeah, sure, maybe it takes an hour to fill out a a like finish a combat or fight. 
in game time, um, each round, like everybody, once everybody goes, that's only like six seconds. Oh. Um, so 10 turns is one minute. Oh. So you'd have to do like, like, <laughs> you'd have to do like a whole bunch of turns in order to reach an hour. Ah. Time to fight underwater, baby. Won't run into Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's check the... Let's check this. Okay. We gotta switch to battle music, baby. Oh, yeah, let's switch to battle music. The crab rain music. <laughs> crab rain. <laughs> Wait, let's see. I remember like Monster Hunter have a crab monster. If like, they have a team song for that. <laughs> Crap monster theme song. Or we can do a Pokemon battle theme song. Is that. Hmm. Oh no, put the Crab Ray. Put the Crab Ray song. Oh, you actually do. You actually do. Oh my god. <laughs> crab Ray 10 hours. Let me see what comes up when I do that. Oh my god, it's real! <laughs> so you, you don't want the Pokemon battle one? No, never mind! Crap uh -oh. brain time, baby! Okay. <laughs> SRD. What is SRD? <laughs> okay. This actually is kind of fitting for our battle. <laughs> It's kind of pop. This, it oh. does, it does. It's really, really great. <laughs> okay. Let me see if this guy has a sing speed. <laughs> okay, I got my rules for underwater combat. So, here's the thing to keep in mind then, Show, if you want him to fight in the water. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to check to see if Sled has a swimming speed. Oh. Because if he does have one, we're going to be okay. But if he doesn't, it's kind of loud. I mean, like he's supposed to have, right? He's a he's a frog man, frog man. <laughs> he looks kind of like a tadpole at first, but um. It just says speed. I I found it uh, as soon as it emerges from its hole, it will flee from a place by using dash action. It has no special movement such as swimming, climbing, or burrowing. Uh, all stats are innate darkness, able to breathe and swim inside. Uh, wait, what? What the fuck are these? The frogs? No, they are tadpole. Uh, the the these are tadpole. Uh, fuck. Okay. I'm a man. A grace that can fly. Girl. Oh, I need to put red slap. Ah, uh, yeah, Sled, uh, my boy Sled had doesn't have uh, any swimming tactics. No, he doesn't swim. Yeah, so if he doesn't have a swim swimming speed, which is fine, he's just going to have a uh, disadvantage on his attack rolls. Ah. he's trying to fight in water. Ah, uh, no, no, he's not going to in the inside water that he'll be stepped by on the boat. Okay, so then on the boat, he'll be able to attack with his claws. So he'll be able to still do two attacks. He just won't be able to do the third one with his with his mouth. With his okay. Teeth. Good. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so usually because he can make those mm. three attacks, but the bite doesn't make sense if he's on the boat. Uh. Hmm. So for I'm now, for now, I have been standby on the boat because the crabs haven't arrived yet, right? Okay. So he's gonna be on the boat. Okay. 
And yeah. attack with this class? Yeah, yeah. You attack when the crabs attack. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, cool. So do you want to, you're wanting him to wait for his turn to do a reaction when the crabs attack, or do you want him to attack right now? But can he attack on the boat right now? Um, I mean, he can swat at the ones that are the nearest to him, but he can only attack with his claws. So he can't bite them with his teeth, right? Okay, then then I'll have him attack. I, I, I thought it was like the crabs are still finding their way to our boat. <laughs> Crabs have a swimming speed, so they're fast in the water. They don't have disadvantage. <laughs> mm. um, so they're going to reach you within, like, one turn. You okay. can for sure attack them now. Okay. Uh, I'll have him attack. So I'll roll a strength roll to see my boy hits, right? I remember that yep. works. So strength check. Two times or just one time? Two oh. times. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. So that one gets to do double damage. Oh. Ah. Damn. Excellent. So go ahead and roll for damage three times. Hey. Okay. Yeah. This is really funny music. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so catchy. It's going to get stuck in my head. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I think this is how it got stuck in everyone's head back then. So true. What I remember most with this song is when Trump got COVID and this was everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. Now Biden has COVID. Now Biden has COVID. Oh yeah, he does. It was amazing. Oh, it's too. Yeah. It back. <laughs> All right, six, nine, six. Okay, cool. So that's 69. 69, baby. <laughs> 69, nice. So that's 21. 21. Ayo, 21. Nah. 31? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 21. <laughs> 21. Yeah, I'm 21, greedy, but not that greedy, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, he completely decimates the nearest crab. Uh, oh. That crab is. Oh, I guess that's dinner. Hell yeah. Crab is lying in pieces in the water now. Oh, oh shit. Uh, bring, bring some to the boat, we can eat it later. <laughs> slap, slap, put, put the meat in the boat, slap. <laughs> Alright, great, fantastic. Um, so next is the next crab's turn. This crab um, is going to get right up to the boat and attempt to climb it to get to you guys. Oh. Hello. Hello, motherfucker. You're not welcome here, Mr. Crab. Please leave. <laughs> All right. So this this crab is able to uh, crawl over the side of the boat and get in there. Oh, see, yeah, um, it's, it's in the boat. boat. <laughs> it's in the boat with you. The crab on the boat. Went... Crab on, on the boat. boat. Crab on, on the, the boat. boat. I'm on the boat. <laughs> that one is not. That one is clinging to the side of the boat in the water. That one makes it. So two crabs, giant crabs, have like are sitting like on the rim of this boat, getting into the boat with you guys. All one of them is still in the water, like at the hole of the boat. Um, great, fantastic, awesome craft party. Yeah. Craft party. Uh, Let's Vicky. just dance with them. <laughs> Let's just dance. <laughs> dance party. Dance party. I guess it I will attack. Whichever one is closest to you, my two short swords. All right. That's one. This is two. Where did my new, new file go? I like just had it. All right. Wait, I also, see. I think, wait, I think I get to roll attack twice so i rolled two d20s per each weapon oh uh, yes you get four damn oh this, right. this is the best that made that one guy that we killed <laughs> this is exactly what did it <laughs> oh my god nat 20. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this crowd you guys are like having a 
crap Friday we night. We were so hungry. We were like, we were like excited to be murdering. Oh, crabs. Crabs. <laughs> crabs are on the menu. Hell yeah. All right. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, three of your four attacks hit. Cool. Um, you could probably notice which ones do. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, <laughs> so you'll actually roll damage four times though, because that d20. Cool. If I if I roll four, no, forty six won't work because I need to add like my modifiers. Okay, hold on. Right. What will sled do? <laughs> I, oh, I so add my, cute. it's been a while. I add my proficiency, <laughs> uh, my to hit and my dexterity, right? Right. Max, why is my sled he posing? <laughs> He's a sled dominant. What else would he do? <laughs> <laughs> is that his ability that he can assert dominance? <laughs> yeah, he stands in the room. He goes. How, how many do I roll? Four? Yeah, four. Here we go. All right, you have also completely decimated one of these other crabs. <laughs> Hell Just yeah. Hell it. yeah. All right, so there's only two crabs left. Boshi, not Boshi, Boshi's not here. Clara, not your here. turn. Yeah, I do not have many multiple attack like, uh, like me <laughs> or Sled do, so I'll just cast Scouting Bolt because my magic is the best. <laughs> Guiding ball, we. So I like how I... Vicky's one that casted uh, Walk That Trace, and you know, she's what? also the one that you you casted the the Pass Without Trace spell, <laughs> and yet you also failed the. I also failed it. <laughs> what do I cast? Uh, like uh, to see if it hits when it's spell locket. What do I cast again? Uh, you, there's a spell, special spell attack modifier that you have at the top right of your screen. Oh, just D20 with that, right? Yeah. Okay. Not the DC, but the modifier, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nineteen. Nice. 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 Yep, you hit. So go ahead and roll for your damage. And then the next person that attacks this crab gets advantage on that because it's guiding bolt, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten. Nice. nice. You hit this crab for a pretty good amount of damage. Um, this crab is illuminated, like, as soon as you, you strike it with his guiding bolt. How weird are they? illuminated oh. along Just the outside. Yeah, they don't have that um, <laughs> It is, it is still, I mean, it's still alive. It's still alive. It's still there. Oh, good. But, uh, I need that meat. Whoever, whoever attacks it next gets, um, gets advantage on the attack. Sled's turn is next. So there's the, the, cla the crab that is glowing that... Clara, you've lit up. Um, and then there's one more crab that has not been attacked yet. Imagine a giant That's the crab, crab that's in the water. So there's one crab on the boat, lit up, another crab in the water that hasn't been touched yet. Giant glowing crab. <laughs> a glowing crab. It'd be really funny if it was at the front of the boat, you know? It's a yeah, glowing crab, it's like, like it's, it's like a whole oh, other little boat. <laughs> and then there's a course in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the like whatever clouds were in the sky part, so this beautiful ray of sunlight <laughs> hits the crab just right. Now, baby Sled, do you see the glowing one? Hit that guy. Okay. Oh, because it's glowing, I get to like advantage, right? So how many do I roll? So. Um, this crab is on the boat, so he can technically bite it. You could do all three attacks on this guy. Um... Six? So, you roll six, but only... Don't do all six at once. Do them two at a time, so that we can see if you're successful with the... the if he's successful with biting, if he's successful with the one claw, and then if he's successful with the second claw. 
Okay. So I, I do three. Yeah, so do three more times. Okay, now three more times. So many rolls. So many rolls. So many. Okay. All right. So yes, you definitely. Well, okay. The okay. So the first one that's sixteen and eight. Those two rolls. Do you want those to be for the biting, for the claw, for the right claw or left claw? Uh I think we could go for the biting. Okay. That one hits the fourteen and the fourteen. Which um, you want that to be for one of the. Uh, Claws? Yeah. Okay, that one does not hit. I oh, don't worry. I have it's another close, claw. It does not. The last <laughs> one does hit. Hey. So you can roll damage for the for the bite and then damage for one of the claws. Seven and nine. Woo! All right, yes. He, like, really, how much damage did you do with the bite with the bite alone? That was like- With the bite, we seven. seven. Yeah. Yeah, with his bite, his teeth just like crunch through the shell of this crab and instantly kill it. Like he could start eating it right then and there. He chewed it so spectacularly. Ah, uh, spit out those shells if you want to eat it. Okay, he reluctantly spits out the shell. <laughs> Alright, the other crab is, that's still in the water is going to attempt once more to climb up. It had a maxi moment where it didn't make it outside. Oh, oh, oh never mind. Can't do it. <laughs> it still can't do it, just oh, like no. Yoshi. <laughs> this all happened because I couldn't climb. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny that it all diverged because you couldn't climb. <laughs> all right. Um, and it's so funny, Vicky, like how Chrissy so desperate to let us join Max, and we didn't. <laughs> it was like, so funny. You're like, oh, maybe we should do this or this or this or that. <laughs> You are supposed to be fainting! You are supposed to be fainting! We didn't. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. Um, it's my turn? Yes. Um, so... The, this left of the last crab isn't on the boat with us, so is it? No, he's in the water. So he's far away from me. So maybe I'll try my bow? I don't, is my bow gonna work on water? Is something in water though? You are outside of water. Um, right now because it's so close, like it's, I mean like, it's right beside the boat. It's just, you know, you're not gonna be able to reach it that well with your swords. Um, can I, you're can gonna... I smack it with my shovel? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have a shovel? I have a shovel. You Vicky, can Vicky, use Vicky, the poke shovel it, poke as an improvised poke weapon. Poke it! Yeah. Okay, I'm going to smack you with my shovel. <laughs> you will not be able to use your proficiency for it, though, That's because okay. you won't have proficiency in shovels. I have proficiency with simple weapons. I don't Does think the shovel counts. Man. Man. Is Anything a, could be a weapon got, if you may put your mind to it. it. Yeah, it would just be strength. Let's see. Uh, oh. It's the I time. <laughs> Ah, uh, that does not do it. The shovel, the shovel that you swing, like splats against the water. Is it plop as it like <laughs> water and misses the crab? Tragedy. Um, show your turn. My turn. Uh, one. Mm, I don't want to. Spin. I'll just attack it normally. <laughs> I think I'll go for my crossbow. Okay. 
Uh, so crossbow, uh, dexterity, right? Uh, yes. How oh, much dexterity you get? Ah, never mind. We're having trouble with Gosh. this Gosh, nope, yep. This crab has survived. Somehow. <laughs> We've literally decimated all his friends. <laughs> and he's he's the only one that didn't make it up. Maybe he should have second, maybe he should be second guessing himself. And maybe oh, he should he run away. I wonder oh, if he has the intelligence to realize he's in a like losing battle here. <laughs> Slut's turn. Now he because this crab is still in the water, he can only use two attacks. Okay. That one does not hit. This one, one does hit. hit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Now my entire head is crab raid. That one. <laughs> Why are you rolling four times? What no, what four times? Did you roll four times? No? Trojan rolled four times. The the that first one, the D20 plus two, that's my attack. And I failed that. So the D20 plus uh, uh three is both a sled uh claw attack. I missed one. I so see. I roll okay. for another claw that hit. I see. Okay. Alright. So yeah, the first one does hit, even if the second one doesn't. You can roll for the damage for that claw. Oh, the first one hit? I thought 10 didn't work. <laughs> the 22? The, the 10. Oh, the 10 does not hit, no. Yeah, yeah, so I already rolled the damage. It's 7. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, I'm caught up. I see what you're doing. Oh, I was so confused. But I got it now. Yay! Woo! Okay. Seven damage. Okay, this crab um, is, you know, he's scratched. Um, but uh, Slug was able to do a good amount of damage to it. Um, this crab, let's see if it does look, I'm gonna do a quick roll here mm. yeah this crab uh realizes that uh it has just been hurt uh its friends have been beaten um and it's going to try and scurry away from you guys oh no you um, don't if you would like you can take an attack of opportunity against the yes crab as a yes yes <laughs> <laughs> Is it so my turn? you can just roll uh, whoever wants to take the attack uh, um, opportunity attack. Basically, just gets to roll another attack on it. Okay. As it's running away. Don't have to roll if I hit alone, or just roll roll attack. It's just one attack. One so attack. if you normally get like a multi attack, like Sled normally gets multi attacks on his turn, this is different. He'd only get to attack once. Okay. It's a singular opportunity attack. Okay, okay. Whoever wants, so I, I can roll and my sled can roll? Yeah, if you want to, both of you guys can roll to see if yes! you can hit the crab. Yes! <laughs> Vicky, you can also roll to see if you hit the crab. Oh, never mind! <laughs> I'm good. Unless they fail. I'll roll if they fail. Uh, roll d20, not d8. Okay. Uh, I'll use both my crossbow them. again, by the way. Yeah, if both of them fail, then I'll roll. But if they're good, then I don't need- I won't. Ah, uh, did not hit. Okay. You can do it, Sled. You can do it. Sled! Sled. Sled boy. Sled boy! Oh, yeah, there you go. I, sled hits! You, sled can roll for damage. Down. Five! Did that? Five. Okay. Um. So this crab somehow is still a ba just barely alive as it's like you know trying to swim Peter, away. You Peter, can see some of Peter, its legs like Peter. are not responding to the rest of its body as it's frantically trying to get away from you. Peter, Peter, Peter. 
Vicky! Vicky, are what? you wanting to finish it off? Oh. This is okay. why us humans are the predators. <laughs> they they farm these these crabs. Mhm. Mm That'll so be I guess juicy. We'll bring, we'll bring them some of our. <laughs> the crabmanship. Like, I'm sorry that we killed some of the things you farm, but like. And can we eat it? Us. And can we keep some? Can, can we eat it? Um. What am I doing? Let me use that bow. Because it's far away now, it's running away, right? Yeah. Yes. So there's one. And there's two. Um, I don't know if those hit. I think those hit. Let's see. Neither of them hit. Oh, what? Yikes. So it got away. It got oh, away. God damn it. Wah, wah, wah. Is but you managed to kill three other crabs. Yeah. So. That was, it's, it's, so, it's so funny that the one who couldn't climb up survived because they couldn't <laughs> climb up. But when Max couldn't climb up, it meant being like knocked down and transported to the spot. That's a dramatic end. <laughs> yeah, a little bit anticlimactic there. I guess oh. we can finally change from the crab rave now. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can change from the crab rave. Uh, I have I have a song. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, you can play a song. Okay. I'll just skip this one as soon as you as soon as you put it in. Okay. <laughs> oh, what happened? I messed up my nails. Oh no. no. What? I like I was like I was like finishing up the and I was gonna let it dry and then like I bumped my glass with my pointer finger and I was like <laughs> the paint okay well I'm gonna have to do it again it's fine I played a clown song for you lovely <laughs> it truly Thank encapsulates you. our D and D sessions <laughs> truly crap rave that you just had. All right, see so you guys. Um, make it safely then uh, to the end of the the crab maze to the shore, um, and um, much like last time, um, as you guys approach, the Gripply also approach you as they see you know you pulling your boat up to the shore. Um, and immediately before you can get off the boat, they like stop in front of, stop you in front of your boat, um, before you can get out of it. Um, and they start speaking to you in their language, which we don't understand. <laughs> do we? <laughs> we don't, right? <laughs> they what do they speak again? Primordial? They speak primordial. Which no, no, no. I only do no <laughs> common and elvish and uh, sled knows telepathy no, and no sled. Oh, we needed Zinnia at a time like this. <laughs> oh, Zinnia. Oh, oh, Zinnia. Body language time, baby. We <laughs> come oh, in right. peace. <laughs> do you know Boshi? Boshi. Like, when you say body language, paint a picture for me. What are, we're what like, are you we're doing? We're like wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> wiggling like you did for uh, for Morgana. <laughs> like we did for... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, like this. <laughs> yeah. That's the funniest thing. <laughs> like we did okay. for... What's her name? Mor Mor Morgana? Yeah, Morgana. 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 Oh, that's so funny. So you guys are wiggling and trying to communicate with them. Yes. Uh, roll persuasion. <laughs> okay. Oh, she can save us. Oh, she can detect our idiocy oh, and come please. save us. I'm stuck. What? What we're rolling again? Oh yeah, persuasion, persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> I thought we were ready for performance. 
Uh-huh. Baby. Damn. I made the best wiggle. We're very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> you made a very convincing wiggle. They are they are moved by your wiggling. They have never seen more beautiful wiggling in their entire life. In fact, as you wiggle, you have inspired some of the other Gripply to wiggle as well. You've invited them into your language. You are sharing a valuable cultural experience <laughs> with these Gripply. And so soon enough, you have <laughs> several Gripply with you who are also wiggling. Says they are led by your your example. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Um, but yes, the, the wiggling has convinced them that you are a friend and not a foe. <laughs> they are enamored with you and your wiggling. That's so funny. <laughs> you hear them excitedly like, oh, what are you going to say, Vicky? I was going to say, oh, that's how you convince someone that you're, that you're safe. <laughs> and you're not threatening, it's just wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you see them, uh, you know, excitedly start to ribbit to each other and talk to each other in their language. Um, and they, you know, are muttering something uh, and gesturing, and you can't quite tell what it is that they're saying, but you can kind of tell that they're very excited about it, whatever it is. <laughs> um, and so they, uh, you know, turn to lead you guys into their village, and they wave at you for to follow them. Uh, I'm going to take my the crab meat into my inventory. Yeah, you can add the crabby to your inventory. Mine nice. now. The like, question is, is mine now? I was gonna say you, 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 you've so far been lucky that they haven't, uh, haven't, you know, questioned anything that just happened. <laughs> smiles uh, away, boys. The, just smiles away. The mysterious <laughs> amount of, of of lobster meat that you guys have have farmed or fished out of the situation. I want you to keep it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Yeah. Is that ration? You could just That's add lobster meat to your inventory. It's technically different than rations. I love this song. It's a Very vibe. peaceful. And what happened? Does Boshi see us? We going? <laughs> uh, you know what, Maxie? Make a special perception check. <laughs> oh, special. We'll see if you do see them wiggling. Oh, she will. I sense some idiocy around here. There's a disturbance in the force. <laughs> oh my god, I. You see it. Despite you don't want to, do you see the wiggles from your teammates. You hear a great commotion going on outside, Boshi. Um, and it's like a big enough commotion that it's like attracted the attention of several other Gripply because they were supposed to come inside um, and, you know, see you and see the, uh, the prisoner. Um, but instead, some of them get distracted at the very same moment by something happening at the coastline of the village. Um, and, you know, maybe a little bit worried, maybe concerned because you're not sure what's going on and if you need to help them. You and Valor peek your heads out of the space to see what's going on by the coastline. Um, and sure enough, what should you see but your own friends leading a bunch of other Gripply in a wiggling dance? <laughs> They're finally As you here. react. So they're finally here. <laughs> no worried about the wiggling. <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds very in character of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Maxie's not even surprised. Boshi's we like, well, for life after all. <laughs> Boshi took one look outside and saw you guys doing your wiggling dance and leading the other Gripply in the wig said wiggling dance. And Boshi was like, this might as well happen. 
All right, so Maxi, um, the uh, other Gripply all kind of hurry your friends forward towards them as their their dance ends, uh, or towards you as your dance ends, um, and they seem very excited to introduce to you uh, this new friend that they've made at the at the docks. Um, oh, they, uh, they, you know, pull forward your friends. They speak to you in primordial. Are you wearing the earrings? I, did Gabby ever give them back to me? He might did not Gabby have. ever give them back? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So, uh, well, you can hear them as they're ri riveting to each other and trying to explain to you uh, what just happened. And when they see that you don't get it, because you aren't wearing the ring rings or the the the, the, the goddamn I can't talk <laughs> earrings earrings because you're not wearing the earrings. Uh, they uh, lead you or attempt to lead you in the same wiggle dance that your friends were doing. <laughs> here. Join us! Join us! Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I, <laughs> join us in wiggling. So you do it I, too, Maxi. Like, uh, yes, yes, I do. Valor <laughs> takes one look happen. at you. Valor takes one look at you and at the Gripply that are trying to get Valor to do it too. And Valor's like, oh no, I don't dance. Ah, oh, come on. This is, this is like high school musical. Boshi, 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 roll, Boshi, roll your performance. If it's good, it might get Valor to dance. Quick, quick! <laughs> roll your performance then, Maxi. See if you can inspire. Oh Valor with <laughs> the first time with your wiggles. I, I did performance was oh no. Nope. Uh, you gave a good effort, but it was not enough to convince Tragedy. convince her to uh, join in with the dancing. I, I look at Valor and I go, Valor, this is this, come join us. This is a great workout. <laughs> and Valor's like. I work out in other ways, but but you know, good for you. Let the noodle take over. <laughs> oh, so that's how you got the noodle. Oh, okay, I understand. Arms. <laughs> One being unable to climb a tower. <laughs> so you guys have finally reunited after so much time apart. And the first thing we did was wiggle. First thing you do is wiggle. Sounds, I guess. Sounds Hi, um, Boshi. Hello. We start waving frantically. <laughs> what? what? What took you guys so long? Well. Nothing. <laughs> the silence. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the boat it was nothing. <laughs> I'll smack you back, but you won't feel anything. <laughs> the true we go master. <laughs> master. Wait, what happened to the Yuan Fu that we kind of knocked out? Still in the tent with, um, or still, yeah, still in that tent with Gabby, um, and some other Gribbly that did not step outside it, because of the commotion. Okie dokie. So, guys, don't freak out, but we're in the middle of a war. Oh, am I not supposed to freak out when you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just stop wiggling and, like, hmm? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you had to bring this up while we're doing our wiggles. <laughs> right in front of my wiggle? Dude, you threw up my groove! Right in front of my wiggles. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it had to be done. Wow. The music fits so well! <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, Mr. Dog. Please stop barking. Mr. Dog. Dog. <laughs> Do you explain the war to us? Yeah, I guess you explain yeah, everything that happened. Yeah, I also introduced Lyra. 
she's not here though. But yeah, Abby's right. not here, so I will like say. Oh yeah, I guess the, the next time. The forest. She's a bard, just like Joe Justice. Oh my god, just like Joe Justice? Just like Joe Justice. Oh my god. Mm. New um, boss. As you guys are standing there, roll an insight check. Ah. Oh no. They're like, why do they stop wiggling? <laughs> why do we smell crabs, guys? You don't have to know about that. I'll, I'll share with you, okay? I'll share with you. Shh. I'll share with you. Shh. Okay. Damn, Vicky, your rolls have been high tonight. Except for my one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vicky, you can definitely tell as you guys are, you know, standing there and talking to each other and catching up and Max is explaining what is going on with the war. Um, I completely spaced. Oh, yeah, I was like, I was like, I was like ready to say what I was going to say. And then I like literally completely <laughs> lost all my all words. The time. No, so um, the Gripply, you notice that the Gripply, as as you guys like and Maxi, you talk to Boshi, Boshi talks back, you guys are interacting and catching up like you haven't been able to do in a while. Um, the other Gripply that are surrounding you all look at each other and start to murmur. Um, they try and talk to you, to you guys, um, but you guys can't understand them because they don't speak common. Um, but you can tell they're gesturing between you and Boshi a lot. Um, and then um, one of the Gripply runs off. A few minutes later, up uh, comes the Pond Mother. Um, she, you know, is a little bit slower as she approaches, led by that very, very, very excited um, uh, Gripply. Um, that was leading her over. Um, and she looks at you guys, um, and her first question is, so rumor has it your friends that you have told us about have arrived. Uh, yeah, these, these are my friends. Uh, yeah, we started a new trend in town. Season. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I, they, and, and like, you know, as, as, as you guys are talking, the Gripply are, are like very excitedly talking to the Pond Mother and they keep doing the wiggles that you, that you, that you inspired them with. And the Pond Mother's a little bit amused. Um, and she's like, they tell me I must see your wiggles for myself. <laughs> Cho, Cho said that they wiggle in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, so yeah, they, you guys, are you guys wiggling then again for her? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she's, is very delighted. Um, she thinks, she thinks this is really funny. Um, give a special insight check just for the pond mother herself. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Gabby Please have a good impression of us. Yeah, she's Gabby like is with you, but she's also wearing the earrings. I had special time comes for special measures. I'm gonna fight Gabby for the earrings. <laughs> Are you gonna steal them from her? You're just gonna take them off from her ears. Gabby earrings. It's not stealing. It's not stealing if they belong to me first. That's actually true. <laughs> oh, that's actually true. All right, you can definitely take the earrings and put them back on. I'm just gonna ask nicely. Can I just have the earrings since you are not here and that you are not physically? <laughs> and Gabby would probably be like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> Thank you, imaginary Gabby. That's also crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can tell uh, Cho in particular. I don't think Maxi has rolled um, inside just yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go um, the earring. <laughs> Cho, you oh. get the idea as you as as you meeting the Pawn Mother for the very first time, and you're hearing about what's going on between the Gripply and the Yuanti in this certain area. Um, you kind of get the idea that even though she's like she she's like you know being sweet and applauding after your guys's wiggle dance for her your performance, um, you get the idea that 
it's not necessarily the wiggling that she is very excited about as much as is the fact that you guys are here. Um, this is confirmed by Lynn, like a moment later. She's like, well, now that your friends are here, that means we are all the more closer to getting our home back. Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. That is what you agreed to. Yeah, you'll definitely get your home back, but hopefully in a more peaceful way that does not include war. Yeah. She here's what you say with with that. Um and she looks at you for a long time and her face is very hard to read. I mean she's a frog. She's you know, she's a grizzly. <laughs> so her face is hard to read anyway. But like now especially, you can't tell what she is thinking as she looks at you. Um and she says I suppose so long as I get my home back, I should have no reason to complain. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we also got information from the Yuan about how the area looks, if you want. She is like, what? What do you mean you have information about the Yuan area? Do you have, what, what, what do you know? How, how the temple looks and um, who's taking guard. This is a bad time to mention it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one who brought it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> yeah. I just woke up. <laughs> um, so the pod mother nods. Um, again, I, was it Cho? Yeah, Cho succeeded high enough on the insight check. Um, Cho, you may not be able to understand, um, what the pawn mother is saying. Like, Maxie's able to respond in common. Bro, she's able to respond in common, no problem, so you can hear that. But, um, everything that the pawn mother is saying, you're not sure exactly what it, that, what it is, what that means. Um, but... She, you know, uh, leans back, steps back, um, and she's like, Well, very well then. I say, let us feast tonight so that tomorrow we may begin taking back a home. <laughs> Not the good music! Uh, yeah, the music yeah. is so unfitting. <laughs> <laughs> you funny. know, maybe... I'm gonna take off my earrings and give them to Vicky. Vicky, you're a better persuasioner than me. Wait, what? I just got <laughs> here. <laughs> Pod mothers talk to you me. more, Maxie. <laughs> okay. She doesn't even know who I am. <laughs> so I, I turn to them and I go, Well, guys, she said tonight we feast and that we are going to war tomorrow, possibly, maybe. What? <laughs> I don't even know what you talked about with you, Auntie. <laughs> You're throwing oh, right. your thoughts onto me, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Max is like, hey, welcome to the deep end. Hope you didn't want explanations. <laughs> so anyway, this is a bad place. Uh -huh. There's frogs here. Wait, so what do you want me to talk to her about? Not to go to war? Oh, wait, maybe... Because... Technically, there are good Yuan-Ti in there that we don't want to attack. It's the bad Yuan-Ti that we want to take out. But let me just ask the Pawn Mother, like... Let me just tell the Pawn Mother that they're actually nice Yuan-Ti. The people that actually, like, wanted to play for good intention that are actually trapped in there. And then, like, bad Yuan-Ti came over and beat the shit out of them. Oh, and now shit. they're tied up. Oh no. And they're stuck in the temple. Oh no. I didn't know this until just now. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't tell me this part. <laughs> Maxie conveniently left out some details. <laughs> Important details. Oh. You know, I just woke up. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's that fair. is very fair, actually. And it's been a couple weeks since we last played. It <laughs> has. 
It has been two weeks. My brain is slowly catching up. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Damn. What, what does the frog lady say to that? <laughs> to, uh... To what Max just said. What did you say at the end? Did I miss what you said at the end? No, just like explaining that there's like you you want yeah, to do that nice. like yeah, to, like capture the yeah. Or something. yeah. Um, I mean this is old news to the the pond mother the, the oh, pond mother really, the pond mother knows oh. this yeah. Oh. This is part this is partly why the pond mother is so insistent that the invasion or the the return oh. you know getting back getting back the home gets back like happens as soon as possible. I see because there are mm-hmm. yeah well. I don't think the pond mother, I don't think the pond mother cares much about the Yuanti themselves so much as oh. getting their home back. Wait, so what did you want me to talk to her about, Max? Don't, 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 don't attack the nice Yuanti. Oh, I'm sure she doesn't want to attack the nice Yuanti. I, I don't know. Well. D- d- you know, well, you, you know. can ask her, I guess. Does she have any okay, animosity yeah. towards the nice ones? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna ask her that. What Vicky said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what Vicky said. <laughs> what Vicky <laughs> said. Does, does what the what pod mother say? hold any <laughs> grudges against the Yuanti? Yeah, the nice ones, I guess. Yeah. Um... So, the pod mother, this is the first time that, uh, so you have the earrings now, right, Vicky? I guess so. So this is the first time I, I think I think them. Venus is using them. Um, yes. When the pod mother looks at you and when the pod mother slowly begins to speak, um, it's, it takes like a hot second for the earrings to kick in. So you can hear like a, a small beginning bit of the primordial first. And then as the earrings kick in, as the spell is working, um, you can hear what she is saying to you as if she was talking in common. Um, But uh, she looks at you and she looks you up and down, uh, Vicky. Um, And she says, why should I care what should happen to you wanties? I only want my home back. Okay. Okay, so that's all right. Do you... Right. That... So, if we beat up the bad ones and we let the good ones go free, will th- will that be okay with you? She takes a deep breath and she thinks about it for a hot second. Um, but she not essentially in the same okay. position as you. Like they were beat up by their own kind and they're, they're in captive, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Vicky said. <laughs> <laughs> she um She is what you say, and she is thinking very hard about it. And uh she does respond saying I have said it once, and I will say it again. What you choose to do, what you would like to do with the you want to, or these quote-unquote, and she, like, wiggles her webbed hands in the way. Um, and she's like, um, good you want to, or whatever. That does not concern me. You may do with them as you wish. My concern is getting us back, getting my people back to our home. That sounds pretty fair to me, so um, okay. I just got here, so I need to figure out what's going on. <laughs> yeah, wait a sure second, Chrissy. I want to ask you. <laughs> Do the earrings work like headphones? Can can we, can we split half? <laughs> <laughs> like AirPods, and we have like yeah, AirPods. Uh, I guess theoretically you could. They probably can't exceed. Like you can't be. A certain distance away from each other, or I don't think the magic would work. Um, Maybe if we're close enough together. But I think, it, yeah, if you're close enough together, like phones. like this, I mean, you could easily like, like the twins from like oh, never mind, I can't remember the horror movie name. Oh, I was thinking more like I don't know, the butterfly vocaloid shit. 
Bad. <laughs> Vaguely, <laughs> I remember it. Yeah, yeah, Maggie. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna ask for my ear earrings back and just like draw out the like the map of the place for the pond mother. Oh yeah, you can just have them. Why do I need one? Yeah, <laughs> <Just have them. laughs> yeah, be polite. <laughs> And I was the one who forced them on you and uh, talked to my place, so... You <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you can have them back and draw out the map for the lady. Okay, okay Pan Mother, this is what the, the information you have, and this is like uh, the guards and everything and where they're positioned, according to what Chrissy gave us long before, but we've lost them. <laughs> A couple weeks now. Oh, oh, yeah. oh is it pinned? I, mean, I got it, I got it. It's pinned. It's totally it's pinned. pinned. Yeah. Wow, something was pinned? Amazing. I know, are you proud of it? <laughs> I'm very proud. We did so good. Whoa. A huge sarcophagus? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Gabby wanted Maxie to do this. Maxie kind of left out right. a certain part. Did you remember it, it was, Maxie? It was it the Were one they doing that... sacrifices? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the quiet oh Aww. yeah <laughs> Am I, I'm finding out like more and more as we go on <laughs> you are it's been two weeks Vicky. I, that's very fair I don't remember shit from like yesterday's <laughs> gosh such a mood though but yes there are ritual sacrifices going on in My there God. in the yeah the in one the, the um, god Right. Um, they they learned a whole lot about the system and the lifestyle of the common lifestyle of Yuanti and the caste system that they have. They also learned a lot about their religious figures last time. Uh, um, and that yes, one of the um, gods of the uh, Yuanti is called like colloquially the usurper god. Um, and that one, in order to get stronger, the religion goes, uh, needs the ritual sacrifices. Oh, fuck. But it is the yeah. god they believe will take over the pantheon. That's why they, that's why several Yuan-Ti, um, worship it. Oh. Yeah. It's a cult. I am a cleric. Mm. It's a cult. It's a cult. We also have a cleric here. <laughs> Who understands cults. Of course. I, I didn't understand for mother when I, but I Clara. suddenly... Cold? Clara, the expert on cold. Cold? Yeah, yeah right. I'm gonna tell her about the whole god situation, too. Oh, this is a mood song. This <laughs> is like, ah, it's time to relax. <laughs> Oh my, more like time to go dum dum. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, this music makes me so sleepy. I'm like, me too. yawning now. <laughs> oh man. It probably is almost time to wrap up at this point. Yeah, this oh, yeah. Time. yeah you guys I, I, after the uniting. huge bomb. After the huge bomb, we have a war. Okay, time to end now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that'll be. We can end that there. Yeah. Ethnic talk. Just gonna go to war next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're just gonna yeah, go to war. No biggie. <laughs>